Yo, what is up, you guys? It's your boy, Daddy Goose from Crimson Black Gaming. And if you guys are from Crimson Black Gaming, you've come to check out my solo metal reaction series. Thank you for coming on over. If you guys are just from the web and you click this kick-ass thumbnail, well, welcome, glad to have you. And if you guys are part of the 250, 250 subscribers and you're checking out today's episode, thank you so much for checking out the episode today. Kind of fucked that last part up. Sounded kind of stupid. However, with today's reaction, we're going to be doing a double reaction because we have lots of Spirit Box on the list. So we're going to be doing Spirit Box Blessed Be, which I don't know why, but Blessed Be on the list just really stood out for me. So I'm really excited to get to it. I'm not sure what it is. It just sounds really good. So I've been really excited to listen to it. And we're going to be doing Perennial. Perennial. We're going to get that out of the way because it's, I said can guess myself with the um, song suggestions because Ginger also has a song called Perennial with slightly different spelling. So we're going to get that out of the way. So I'm not confused with that anymore. <laughs> um, for those wondering what the list is looking like, I was going to do um, this one right here because that's the next on the back part of the, the board, the uh, Echoes of the Past. But then I realized we haven't done Spirit Box in a while, and we have lots of song suggestions by them, so we're going to get that out of the way. But that's what's next, if you guys are wondering. <laughs> um, without further ado, let's get on to today's episode. Bless be Spirit Box. Let's get it. Dog is scratching her ear. Fucking going a little ham. I don't know if you guys heard that. All right, let's get it. Man, I can tell I'm gonna like this one. It's starting off with some cleans, and I know she's got those vocals for screams. Woo! I don't know about this one. I feel like we're about to be in one, dude. Let's go. I really like the direction that's taking. I love the high vocals there. And, uh, man, this is reminding me of um, Future Palace, this song. The uh, the voice range. I'm really hoping screams come in here. Because it's going to absolutely crank this fucking up a lot when it comes to the scaling. Uh, on the rank scale there. But I really like the sound this is going for right now. And, uh... When it comes to Future Palace, there's a couple songs where like it's like this the whole song, and it fucking hits you right at the end, and it just drives the whole thing together. I'm hoping we see something similar like that here, but uh, I don't know. Let's see.
I can feel it, dude. I can feel it, bro. This better be it, dude. This better go fucking hard here. Let's get it. Come on. I see. It's it, dude. This is it's exactly like the one song. Well, that's the lyrics and the beat are completely different, but it just reminds me a lot of that Future Palace song, dude. That hit hard. That shit hit hard. I love that shit. Cleans the whole way and just has an absolute fucking banger, dude. Oh, dude. Look, I can't stop saying, dude, this episode. That's new and that's gotta stop. Let's go. Maybe I could survive in these chemicals. Okay, Spirit Box, Blessed Be. Dude, I knew Blessed Be was speaking to me from the list there. I fucking knew that shit. Um, holy. Dude, that was a, such a good song. This one, this is what I'm talking about. I knew from the first time we listened to Spirit Box, there would be a song that I fucking love. This is it. This is it. Um, man, Blessed Be. I'm gonna listen to it again after the recording. Dude, look at this, look at this, look at this. Don't judge me. I gotta make sure I, the code's not on there. Cause fuckers. $25 iTunes card. That shit might be going on the iPod. That shit was fire. Holy shit. Um, ranking zero out of a hundred. I'm going to give that one an 82.5. Yeah, that one's going to get an 82.5. And I listen to that a couple more times. Hey, that shit might go up to an 85.5 after listening to it a couple times. But first time listen, we're going to get this shit an 82.5. Holy, I loved, I loved how that was laid out. The cleans into the power, like just the more upbeat cleans. Um, and then just, they saved that one section, both three quarters in. Nailed you with the screams back to cleans, dude. I love that layout. I love that layout. It's it has a perfect mixture between easy listening to just jamming out, and then like I said, just that one section you just absolutely get into it. Ah, oh, and it makes the whole song like knowing that's coming up now. Like when you listen to it again, knowing that part's coming up, just brings the entire song in as a whole. I don't know if you guys feel the same when it comes to songs like that. But now that I know that part's coming, it, like, amps the entire song. Like, oh, dude, it just brings the whole song together. I fucking love that. That was such a good song. What did I say? Did I say 81.5? I'm going to give that 82.5. Because I, I don't know. That song fucking kicked ass. It, we'll just say 82.5. Because I don't remember what my first one was now. But 82.5. That's where I'm giving that. That fucking kicked ass. Um, now we're going to move on to Perennial. And let's hope this give or that that song gives the same vibes as this because that was fucking fantastic. Let's get it. All right, Spirit Box Perennial. I don't, let's just get it. I'm still hyped over the last one, so I it's going to be really hard for me not to have high hopes here. But I'm going to keep in mind that listening to the songs we have 
including the Mara effect. If you haven't checked that out, I listened to parts one, two, and three. Go check that out. Um, a little self promotion. Um, their their range in what they go for in their songs are fucking left field and right field. So I have no idea what to ever expect with these guys, but I'm hoping it's just like Bless Me. <laughs> so let's fucking go. Dude, I know, I know, it's fucking 20 seconds in, but that fucking beat, that riff, yeah, we're gonna be in one again, this is, this is gonna hit, I can feel it, I got that feeling in me, it's gonna hit. Also, side note, should have said this after the first song, my voice, I'm still fucked, I'm still nasally as shit, but the show must go on. I apologize if my voice sounds like fucking ass, but it is what it is, I'm sorry. I wanna get better too, dude, I'm fucking... I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired, you know what I'm saying? That's what I mean when I say that Spirit Box goes for left field and right field. Their time signatures in this one, and they're just like their riff and like they're 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 fucking around with the voice timing and the, the the riff timing and it's just a weird sound. Um, I'm not sure how exactly I feel about it. Like it sounds cool, but at the same time, it sounds cool, but like not cool in a cool way. Cool in a weird way. You you know what I'm saying? Um. I, I don't know. We're just going to see how the song plays out, and then we'll just see what my brain keeps thinking about it. Uh, let's go. Okay, I, I'm seeing, I'm, I'm hearing it, and I'm seeing it, what I'm finding with this song, and why I'm finding it hard to become one with the perennial song, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think the vocals don't match the beat in this one. I think I've said that a couple times with a, like a bunch of different songs, where sometimes I feel like they just throw in whatever riff they want, and then throw in the kind of vocals they want with whatever you know they just throw them both in together i think they both sound phenomenal on their own but these two for me aren't they're not they're not matching 
They're not matching. It just feels like she's singing over top of a, a fucking random riff that she got off Fiverr. That's what it feels like. Now, the people that she paid for Fiverr was probably a $5,000 because the riff is fantastic, but it's just not meshing with the, the vocals. But I do like, I do still like that weirdness in the, the, the timing they were doing, but, and the vocals, and that matched at the start. But then after that, it just kind of seemed to, to unmatch, if that makes sense. I'm not really too sure. But um, I still like their 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 theme they got going. I do like that they're finding their sound and their their um, their layout. It's similar to the last song, cleans and then a heavy section, which is oh, it's fucking awesome. Let's go. That part right there, it happened twice. The part where it picks up there, but her voice stays the same. That's almost exactly what I was trying to get at. It's, it just doesn't sound like they should be together. The beat just ramps up and they go hard, but the, the, the voice doesn't change at all. It just stays the exact same. And when it slows down, voice stays the same. It sounds better once the, the beat has slowed down, but nothing changes. And I think that's why it's sounding weird to me. Now, keep in mind, I'm going to point this out. I'm not an expert. I don't know shit. I'm just here listening. So please don't hate me. <laughs> Spirit Box Perennial. I think I kind of went over what I wanted to say for the most part a couple times for that one. Um, but at the end there, I don't know if you guys are... Um, I don't want to say hearing what, you're he what I'm hearing. But understand what I'm trying to say. Is when it picks up there, her voice just stays the same. And it's it's hard. Like, <clears throat> that kind of stuff sticks out a lot for myself. And when I like like that last song, everything was perfect it all melded together the voice sounded like the beat and i don't know is that a weird thing to say the music or sorry the the vocals sounds like the beat that's what i like makes no fucking sense probably but that's what i like <laughs> and this one it just pulled away too much um but yeah i zero out of 100 on on perennial i'm gonna give that one a 60 3.5 and I think that's a pretty fair spot for that one because I still liked it and I liked the start a lot with the the uniqueness and that's still when the the um, the vocals meshed with the beat really well then they kind of lost me the screams and the the one part near the end where there was a scream with an overlay of her voice singing in the background that shit goes hard no matter what band that's in that shit goes hard every fucking time <laughs> um but yeah there were some high parts it just, the, it, I just got pulled out of it, and there's nothing I could do. I tried to get back into it, but it just wasn't happening. With that being said, with both songs, I still love and Spirit Box a lot. And like I said, every song is left field and right field, so I never know what to expect. Every reaction is like a fucking, who knows what's going to happen. So I'm really excited to come back to Spirit Box. There's still lots on the, on the list to get back to, so we got lots of options. Without further ado, let's move on to today's outro. All right, Spirit Box. I think I kind of already said everything. Usually I do a little outro and I do a little, you know, fucking full loop around here. But 
I think I got pretty much what I wanted to say in the last one. Um, I really, really like Bless B. That shit, for real, might go on the fucking iPod. 82.5. Uh, and 82.5 is really... That might be one of the higher songs in general that we've rated um, on here. So that was an absolute slapper. Um, perennial, kind of already know. It just pulled me out. Couldn't get back into it. Overall, really good reaction day. I'm really happy with Spirit Box. And I love their sound, where they've come from. Because the Mara Effect was their older stuff. And now, we're listening to their newer stuff. I don't know how new, but it was fairly new from what I remember on the thumbnail. And when it released. I don't remember, but you can just tell. You can just tell that they've come a long way and they're finding their sound. And it's fantastic. However, this is Crimson Black Gave Me if you're looking at the bottom left corner. This is the gaming channel I'm a part of. I'd love it if you guys went and checked it out. Leave a comment saying Daddy Goose sent you. If you guys want more of me, I'm in a lot of solo videos. I'm in a lot of group videos. So go check us out. We have lots of different games to offer. If you guys want to see just what we're all about, we have our Best of 2022 video. It's just the compilation of the funniest fucking moments you'll ever see in gaming history. So go check that out. I'd really appreciate it. And if you haven't checked it out already, or you haven't seen... I got my cardboard play button for 100 subs. I really hope you can see that because I wasn't looking where my camera was set up. But go check that out. I did a mass reaction. Seven songs, kind of, because the creators and the uh, owners of IC Stars have a massive copyright. I kind of go over what happened there in the video. Um, but yeah, regardless, I still reacted to six full songs. Go check that out if you haven't already. And, uh, oh, that's also why I don't have a fucking beard and mustache anymore, <laughs> if those who didn't see that um, are seeing this video, and I don't have that. I cut it off <laughs> in the in the 100 uh, special at the end there, so that's what happened there. But that's a long enough outro. I'm really trying to keep these videos under 20 minutes. So, hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for joining me today. Have yourselves a good one. Daddy Goose out. Yeah, that was a really good outro. I gotta remember that shit for next time. Let's fucking go.